Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's such a delight to be with you again. In this upload, I'm going to share an exploration with you on the topic of being the light of the world, which I talk about in the upload preceding this one. So you can listen to that upload first, if you wish, and then come back to this. The exercise that I'll share later is an exploration of the light of the world message in practicable terms. As with all the exercises I share, this is just a framework or a starting point, particularly for anyone who is new to this type of activity. For those of us who are familiar with metaphysics, we are, as always, encouraged to adjust the exercise to suit our own temperaments. The aim with all of these things, ultimately, is to point us toward understanding and using the spiritual language of emotion to such an extent that exercises of any sort become a completely unnecessary element of our experience. But until that happens, we can use these devices to assist us in achieving the type of results that build confidence and power. The exercise itself will take about three to five minutes relative to your mood. You are, of course, welcome to stay longer in the vision if you like. Although I'd say when you are told time is up, do go with that signal, which typically manifests as a feeling of being ready to move on and to do something else. It's probably better to do something little and often than to labour over it. So I, as I say, when you feel time is up, please do go with that. Do remember to prepare before you begin. That's to say, spend some time acknowledging your dimensionally greater being. I, I feel this is essential. And you can do this as you perform your normal daily tasks. Just become aware that there is this aspect of you that is infinite, that is great, that is powerful. And all you have to do is to contemplate that for a few moments as you make a cup of tea, as you walk the dog, mow the grass, whatever it is that you're doing, just become aware of your dimensionally greater self. It makes a connecting with this aspect of yourself much easier later on. If it's been some time since you've last recognised, as I like to put it, the superiority of your divinity, just take some time to focus your contemplation on your being someone authentically great and powerful. And do this until you begin to register a humanly physical awareness of strength and expansion that seems to be internal. Always appreciate yourself Thank yourself for your faithfulness in going along with everything you ask yourself to do. If you are unwell, thank your human body for hosting life. Thank it for its patience while you move through this particular challenge. If you're facing any other stressor or trauma, do the same. Above all, love yourself. This is essential. For those of you who recognise God as absolute causation, you may wish to feelingly engage in the enhancement of an intense sort of intelligence that the presence of God has. If God seems to be a new or an abstract concept to you, that doesn't matter a jot. You're only asked to remain open hearted. And when you feel sufficiently stimulated, you can find a place that you can be comfortable and uninterrupted in for a few minutes and you can begin. So you're going to sit down or lie down if you're lying down. Remember, your head and neck must be supported, but not elevated. Close your eyes for this one. Smile softly to release endorphins and serotonin, and then go into a state of deep relaxation. I would say when it comes to your relaxation method, particularly if you've learned it from someone else, you might hear their voice guiding you through the steps. If that happens, replace their voice with your own voice, you are the only person who should be involved in the relaxation process. Reassure yourself that you are safe and supported and loved. And please ignore any environmental noise um, on this recording. Also, if you experience any distress, this is really important. Please revive yourself and come back to the surface and then you can return to the exercise another time. And if you need any guidance on how to revive your, yourself, you can ask in the comments area below. So in your relaxed state and as you feel the beginnings of euphoria, I want you to imagine, which means to switch to subjective experience using your subjective senses. It doesn't mean to visualise. Imagine that you are in a field of tall grass at twilight. 
if you are imagining this, not visualising this, you're going to feel a breeze or a warmth. I have to say, no two people are going to experience this in the same way. It's entirely personal to you. But what you're going to experience is the reality of your environment. So as I say, a breeze or a warmth or maybe a cold chill, it really doesn't matter. It's entirely personal. Also experience the reality of the texture of the grass around you and the pressure of the ground acting upward under your feet. You might be naked, you might be fully clothed, it doesn't really matter. So you're going to experience the grass in a a specific way and also the ground in a specific way. I don't want you to try to decide whether you're dressed or not, what you can smell or taste or hear or see. Everything will occur naturally and be an accurate representation of the world you currently inhabit. To imagine then is to allow your dimensionally greater self to take its rightful place as experiencer and to transmit this experience to your human aspect, the human aspect of your trinity. So your dimensionally greater self is the experiencer transmitting the experiences to the human aspect of your trinity. So everywhere you look, all you can see is grass and above you, the twilight sky. And allow yourself to receive the emotion of the reality that you are entirely alone and stay with this emotional message for a few moments. Now, communication will begin between your human and dimensionally greater selves, making clear to you everything that constitutes darkness in your present world. That's to say anything that contracts or disappoints or worries you or scares you or frustrates you. It might also include things that you feel you really want to change, but you cannot change. As these thoughts and ideas are evoked by this communication process, notice the world you presently inhabit growing darker. So the twilight sky becomes a dark sky and the grass becomes very dark. The more intense these feelings are, the darker your environment will become. And then when you feel ready, notice the centre of your dimensionally greater self. So we're about sort of around where the heart in your physical body would be positioned. Notice a glow there or a light there. As you notice it, it may look like an actual heart, but this is in fact the thinking organ or the brain of your dimensionally greater self. So see the light there. It's possible that you will feel your human body acting in concert with your dimensionally greater self as this happens, a bit like a puppet. This is very exciting. If you don't feel that, don't worry. Just allow, as I say, your dimensionally greater self to be the experiencer. So that means you're using your subjective senses and receiving the transmission of the experience. As you notice the light, you will humanly feel yourself growing stronger and more expansive. You are growing in authority in the midst of all the darkness you are now experiencing. You will also feel a lightness, which is the spiritual transmission of inspiration. And your physical body will start to tingle with pleasure around the generative or creative vortex located mainly in the reproductive area of your physical human body. And this is happening as you receive messages of salvation, which purely means solution. The word salvation has no humanly religious connotation whatsoever. The word salvation in the realm of metaphysics means solution. Please don't try to interpret what the light is telling you. Just receive what the light is telling you. And when this process ebbs, look into the darkness around you. And see now that it is moving because it is made up of those things that constitute darkness. And all of those things are separate and individualized and they all have a finite form. And as your dimensionally greater self, as experiencer commands one of these moving energies to step forward, you're going to be one with your dimensionally greater self. So 
this thing, this energy, this entity is commanded to step forward into the glow of the light coming from your centre. As it steps into the light, it will dissipate and disappear. You may recognise that as a disintegration. It will disappear. What is happening now is that a shift is being created in the relationship between yourself and your present physical world. And in this shift, you can exercise your authority to change your physical world by exiting your predominant state of consciousness. Neville Goddard refers to this as the moment that is impenetrable, the moment during which anything can be achieved. If you feel you have the space and the capacity and the time to deal with more than one issue, you can do that. You can ask more than one thing to step forward. But I recommend that you get to the end of the process, which is the point at which the issue has disappeared, the entity has disappeared, and then return to the surface. Again, we're not going to try and work anything out logically or attempt to figure out what has happened or what will happen now. We won't know. We simply allow this experience to remain rooted in emotion. What you have done with this exercise is recentered yourself as the ultimate authority in the world you inhabit. You are exercising power over your conceptions, which liberates you to make different choices and thereby to have different experiences. And of course, this exercise is yours to use whenever you choose. Once you come to the surface, go about your normal, natural day, feeling lighter and healthier, stronger and happier. You will notice changes right away, but please don't seek out any particular change. Just notice them as they present themselves to you organically. I think it's really important to remind us at this point that these exercises are not an attempt to fix things and make things better in the context of life as we know it. They are immensely powerful devices that enable us to sever the ties that bind us to an undesirable state of consciousness. We can never resolve something in our lives by staying who we are. As I've said, with this particular exercise, you are reasserting authority over your physical world, which is a product of all of the states that you inhabit, particularly your predominant state. Remember, all of the issues you now face come from that state of consciousness. So by exposing them to the light or an aspect of them to the light of your dimensionally greater selves, you are killing off the emotional attachment you have to these conditions and thereby freeing yourself to move to higher and higher levels. And I like to say we are doing this because I'm very much a part of what I'm sharing with you. Remember, we are the only one who inhabits our world. When we experience pain that comes from trying to make the world different without exercising our innate ability to hold any self-concept we choose. In other words, without making ourselves different, we're trying to make things different and that causes pain. Again, or similarly, failure comes from trying to make other people behave differently when all we have to do is ask using the spiritual language of emotion, who do I have to be to have a different experience of this person or of other people? Leave the shared physical world alone, leave other people alone and focus on the greatest, loveliest, highest, noblest, most elegant person you can be and always as Neville Goddard says dream bigger than the best you know so please do give this wonderful exercise a try the outcomes far outweigh any description I can give you in this upload I promise you that I have to consider those who may be completely new so I have to tailor my language to, to that but there is no limit to what you can accomplish by testing this and other methods Feel free to share your insights or any exercises that you have developed or and please feel free to ask any questions in the comments area. And until we are together again, stay phenomenally you.